hello children once again we'll discuss the lesson animal life so we were discussing about the different methods of moving once again i'll give you short recap of what we did in our previous class in this topic right so animals move you know why do animals have to move animals move to look for food and also to escape their enemies and also to find shelter from the heat rain and cold they move in different ways as there are different animals they move in different ways some move slowly some move fast some can move over small distance some can move over long distances okay and different animals by living their different habitats so their way of uh, movement is also different so the animals which move on the land they move with the help of their limbs like lion tiger elephant etc they move with the help of limbs and the front limbs are known as fore limbs and the the limbs which are at the behind are known as hind limbs but these animals mostly they use all the fore uh, fore limbs and hind limbs to move see here are the pictures how they move now humans can stand upright and walk on the two legs we do not need to use our Uh, all the four limbs we also got two pairs of limbs and four limbs are our arms our arms are our four limbs and we have also got the fingers at the end of the arm means we have got the hand and in the hand are the fingers and the arrangement of the thumb is such that we are able to hold the thing we are able to catch the things okay so arrangement of the thumb and the other fingers is such that we are able so this is the arrangement of the humans we can walk on two legs and we can with the with the help of our four limbs we can hold the things okay and then are the pictures of wild animals see like cheetah uh, horses zebra they are good runners they use their strong legs to run fast okay and then here are the rabbits and hares instead of walking they hop they hop on their their hind limbs are longer than their uh, fore limbs so they can and they are also strong so they can hop with the help of hind limbs some animals cannot walk they can crawl okay like snakes and worms they do not have legs so they crawl how they crawl they crawl themselves and then they again straighten straighten up okay so they can move same way the worm also first they shorten and then elongate shorten elongate so that they can move they can make the movement on the land animals like crocodiles lizard tortoise they can they have four short legs to crawl they can walk slowly uh insects have six legs so they can make use of the six legs like insects like ants and beetles they use they use their legs for walking while grasshopper has got powerful hind legs and they hop with the help of hind legs hind legs right hmm? now are the animals that can fly means the birds okay birds have got wings to fly okay they flap their wings and then they they take up and they fly and the wings are actually their four limbs by moving the wings up and down bird push themselves to the air they cut the air currents and then they make their way and they can fly and for flying the birds uh, the bodies of birds are small and they are also light making it easy for them to fly right but all birds cannot fly birds like ostrich emu ecosovari they cannot fly they have got heavy bodies right because of the heavy body they cannot they have forgotten how to fly they cannot fly they can walk okay and their uh, wings are also not very uh, very much developed they are poorly developed wings 
and they are good runners so these these birds cannot fly now you know ah the animals that swim who can swim you know well very well fish can swim how do they uh, they they make use of uh, the tails and they move their tails side by side okay and there are also fins that are used to balance change the direction and stop whenever they want some fish also use their fins like oars you must have seen the oars okay the boatman uses the oars to uh, to move the boat in the water same way fins uh, fish also mm, uses their fins like a oar now frogs can swim by kicking the water with their webbed hind legs okay their hind legs are webbed they also work like oars and they kick the water with that and they can move forward in water the water boatman in an, is an insect that uses its legs as oars to swim then prawns and tadpoles also swim with their legs turtles uses their flippers for swimming and penguins here the photo is of the penguin they they have wings and that work like flippers and are used for swimming so this is how the birds they can use the use their uh, uh sorry the flippers penguin uses its flippers to move and to swim this is how the animals swim now ha uh, now i want to tell you about the animals that travel long distances means what see whenever it is a suppose it is a vacation summer vacation it is hot in our place so what do we do we go to the uh, colder regions right we go to the hill station we go to leh ladakh we go to kashmir why to escape from the heat of our place right and so in the same way and in the in the people who live in the colder regions okay they they come to the uh, warmer regions in december january you can say those who are uh, who staying in a very extreme cold regions they come to the warmer places the same way you know the same way the birds and other animals also they also come they also go to the long distance to escape the weather and this is known as this movement is known as migration you know it is known as migration so many people once again i'll tell many people who live in very cold places like nainital or shimla go to the warmer places during winters because it is extreme cold there ha huh? we do not have that much cold okay our our place is quite warm in winters also so people can come even in from the foreign countries where it is extreme cold they come to india where the places where the where it is warm even in winter okay in the same way several animals that live in very cold places like siberia in russia okay come to the warmer places like india I just told you, and they travel thousands of miles to find warmth, food, and to also to give birth to their young ones. And this movement, okay, this movement, you can say this seasonal movement to escape the weather conditions, okay, to escape the extreme cold, is known as migration. It's known as migration. They travel alone or in large groups. and again they as as we also do uh, after the vacations are over we come back again right in the summer or even in winter if if anybody uh, travels after the, the that period is over they go back to their homes same way the animals also they come they spend that that much time here and then they go back again and this movement this seasonal movement of animals from one region to another is called migration at the end of the winter they again go back to their original homes this process this is known as migration i will show you the who means what are the animals 
with the picture see here arctic arctic turn travels more than 70000 kilometers okay when it migrates from arctic region in winters to antarctica and again it goes back okay some some uh, birds are there uh, these siberian cranes are also there they also used to come they come to india you find them in the bharatpur sanctuary near rajasthan right and some eels that live in the fresh water rivers swim more than 60000 6, kilometers to the sea to reproduce they come they reproduce and then the young ones the young eels they swim back to the fresh water rivers means to their original home some butterflies also migrate okay the monarch butterfly it migrates from canada to mexico during summer understood so these are the animals who do the my who travel long distances or you can say who migrate see here are the, uh, these pictures of Siberian crane who used to, I just, I told you they used to, but they used to come to India during winter and go back to the Siberia during summer. Okay. But nowadays their, uh, their number have become very less or almost uh, they have stopped coming because of the widespread of the use of uh, pesticide, you know, because of the pollution. The, the number has decreased that and <clears throat> they have almost stopped coming to India okay now so these are this is all about the migration now I will again just give you a short recap of the uh, <clears throat> of the lesson which we did in our first class Okay, so it is about the habitat. You know, the habitat is a place or the surrounding in which the animal the animal can live comfortably. Okay, in, and it can survive. So there are different habitats of different animals like forest, river, sea, pond, mountains. Okay, so that place where the animal can live comfortably and survive is known as its habitat. Then there are different body coverings like shell, snails and turtles have shells over it is hard and it protects its their soft bodies. Scales are found on fish, fish have thin scales while reptiles have leathery scales. Hairs are found on the mammals okay like polar bear have a thick covering of fur so that it can protect its body in the cold climate while, while birds have feathers they keep them warm and also help them to fly then different eating habits uh, different animals have different because they eat different food so according to the food they eat their mouth parts of the animals are adapted uh, to that kind of food for they what they eat the animals like herbivores, they have sh uh, sharp front teeth to bite the plants and flat black, uh, back teeth, okay, to grind the food. Animals like sheep, goat, or cow, etc. are herbivores. While carnivores have sharp pointed teeth to tear the, f uh, to tear the flesh of the, of the animals and also strong back teeth to chew the flesh. The examples are lions, tigers, wolf, etc. The animals that eat both plants and, uh, and animals are called omnivores. Okay. The examples are ducks, fowls, humans, etc. See here are the pictures of the herbivores and omnivores. Here are the pictures of the omnivores, uh, sorry, carnivores, uh, animals and the, these are the birds like eagles and owls they have got sharp claws to catch the animal so that they cannot and they cannot escape and they have got sharp hooked beak instead of see the uh, birds have got beaks instead of teeth okay so they have got hooked beaks to tear the flesh while animals uh, other other carnivorous animals have got sharp pointed front teeth 
sharp canines prepare the food while the omnivores uh, while the carnivores birds have got hooked beak so that they can tear the flesh now see here other carnivores animals like frogs and lizard they have got a long sticky tongue with the help of the tongue they can catch their insect catch their food catch their prey and then they can eat it here snakes have got uh, many hundreds of backward facing teeth so that they can swallow their prey and they have also got detachable jaw that help them to swallow their prey that is even larger than their mouth so this is all about the eating habits in the previous lesson we have already discussed and revised the breathing uh, breathing uh, patterns or different breathing ways of the different animals so here we finish our chapter on animal life hope you have understood it well please go through it and revise it well so thank you